guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get ready for when I film videos. So, let's begin. I'm going to first start off by spraying my face with some rose water and glycerin facial spray. This will help hydrate the skin and create a very even dewy base for my primer. And today I'm using the Flawless Pixie Primer. I got this as a sample in Ipsy and I'm mixing that with a moisturizer that I mix with some pigments and cream highlighters to recreate my own custom base. And I'm going to mix those two together to create a dewy canvas before I apply my foundation. Of course, I'm using the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua in the color 50 Beige. I'm almost out of this and it's a little too dark for me right now, so don't mind the shade, but I will be buying the correct color once I run out. And just so I don't have to use too much product to share it out a little bit, I'm applying a few drops of Argan Oil. And this is from Beauty Protectant Oil and it smells amazing. And as you can see, it gave a beautiful finish while keeping the skin dewy. And it allowed me to use a little bit less product because it thinned out more easily. And now I'm going in with my Dermablend Concealer. I'm not sure of the shade and I'm highlighting and concealing around the face. I'm making sure to hit the chin, the under eye area, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, brow bone, and underneath my cheekbone to accentuate my contour before blending it with the beauty blender. Once everything is blended on the concealer part, I'm then going to bronze up the face a little bit and lay down sort of the foundation for where I'm going to be contouring. And to do that, I'm using Max Face and Body. Wait, what did I just say? Yeah, Max Face and Body Foundation in the color C6. I'm just patting that around the perimeter of my face and then I'll blend that in with my fingers in just a second. Make sure to blend towards the hairline so that you don't have that demarcation line where your hair is. Now to refresh the skin and blend everything together, I'm spraying again with MAC Fix Plus. And with my Damp and Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend both the darker foundation and the lighter concealer together to make sure I have no harsh lines. Now we're going to set the concealer using Anastasia Beverly Hills' Contour Color Powder. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in the shade Banana. And I'm just setting the under eye area and then going over the nose, forehead, cupid's bow, chin, and then under the contour where we placed all of that concealer. You always want to set cream with powder so you don't have any sliding product throughout the day. Now to bronze the face, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And don't mind how heavy it looks, I often have to apply it a little bit more heavily for it to show up on camera. And I love this bronzer, it's very warm tone, so if you are of a paler complexion, you might not want to use this, it might make you look very muddy. And it does smell like chocolate, in case you were wondering, it's delicious. Now to contour and shape the face, I'm taking Fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just hollowing out the cheekbones and then going under the jawline and I'm also going to very lightly hit the temples and the very top of my hairline as well.
Now mixing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Banana and a taupe shade from Makeup Forever, I'm just contouring the nose, making sure to go down the sides of it in a very straight line to shape the nose and correct that little bend I have in my nose and that little bump at the top. And then I'm going to extend it out from the nostrils, like where the sides of the nostrils are. It's kind of hard to explain, just to make it look like my nose is more pointed. And then also going under the nose as well to lift it. And then to bring my nose forward, I'm gonna take a little bit of the banana color and just run it down the bridge as well. Now to extenuate my lip and make it look a little more pouty, I am taking the taupe color from Make It Forever again and going underneath my lip and then also in that little divot under the nose. To extenuate the eyes, I'm taking that taupe color again and putting it under the eye using a pencil brush and running that and smoking it out under the lower lash line before going in and doing my brows with the Sigma Brow Powder Duo in the, sh in the shade Dark. And after I've filled them in, I'm just gonna brush them out to make sure they look more natural and the color is evenly distributed throughout. Brows on fleek, done. Now it's time to curl the lashes, and I'm using the Shu Uemura S Curler as always. And fluttery lashes, check. I love this lash color. You guys definitely should check it out if you have not already. And I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara, and I am going to clean off most of the one beforehand off camera before going in and coating my lashes generously with multiple coats. Now going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Twice Baked. And I'm going to just run that in the lower lash line just to add a little more definition so that it shows up more on camera. If you are going to be wearing this as a daytime look, you might want to skip this step because it does look a little grungy, but when I am filming on camera it shows up as just being very sultry and very dramatic but not too dark couldn't think of adjectives. Um, now that the mascara has dried, I am going to comb through my lashes using a Morphe lash comb. And I'm just going to separate the lashes that are stuck together just to make sure everything's nice and fanned out. And lastly, I'm going to refresh the face with some MAC Fix Plus, and that concludes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Again, this is what I wear for filming videos, not something to wear every day. It is very heavy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm so sorry about being gone for so long, but I am back, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-ya!